Today I'm very curious to learn more about what da capo means. Da capo is something I see very frequently in Bach's music and scores. So, Rudy, what can you tell us about that? Da capo, you find it in a lot of music, also later music. You have a first part, an A part, then you take a B part with a contrasting text and music, and after that you go back to the first part. But what actually means da capo if you translate it to English? Well, literally it means, of course, from the head. In um, times like, say, opera, Handel, you had the possibility to take the A part again and show how cunning you are with ornamentation. I can perhaps explain it with a little German folk tune on the bees. Zoom, 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 pinchen zoom herum. That's the A part. Everybody together. Zoom, 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 pinchen zoom herum. Now the B part. Da da di da 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 da. Repetition. Di di da 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 da. And now the A part comes again. Zoom, 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 pinchen zoom herum. Or with ornamentation, zoom, 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 pinchen zoom herum. I could take an example now, constructing um, in Bach aria. Schwann, you had a great idea. What was that? Nulle dies or nulle dies? Nulle dies sine Bach. Not one day without Bach. I could do that like this. And of course it will go on. And then this would end. And then the B part would be We also love Schumann, Schubert and Beatles, Mozart and Beethoven, Weinitz and Brahms. And then the A part would come again. And on and on and on. Null Bach. 